back to the YouTube channel of Pro Enzo Vids, and this is my thought on the signing of Cody Nikarima for the South Sydney Rabbitohs today. Um, yeah, there's been talk that you know that a couple months ago Nikarima was to head to the Rabbitohs, and that's been pretty much uh, said that now it's officially going to happen, and this will be confirmed either tomorrow or some point this week, from what I understand. So. Look, it's a pretty good signing for Seaf, so I must say, I think he's going to add a lot of versatility as a player. He can play 5'8", um, he can play a bit of hooker as well. So he's a very versatile player that I think will add a lot to that Seaf's new team, whether he does, you know, get a spot on that side. I think he should. I think he will get a spot. Probably that Jersey 14 role will suit Nick Arima best, I imagine. So he'd um, be pretty good, I think. I think he'd be going... I think he'd go pretty well there, actually, being playing behind uh, Walker and, I guess, assisting Lachlan Elias a bit more as a half as well, since Nick Arima has had that experience playing um, at halfback before. But, um, yeah, what it makes the Warriors now, I don't think it's a big loss to the Warriors because, from what I understand, Nick Arima did say he wanted to stay in Australia. He didn't want to go back to New Zealand, I think, for family or personal reasons. So, I guess they might as well let him go now and uh, secure his future in Australia and, uh, and just set up um, here, I guess. So, um, yeah, it kind of makes sense in the end that why he got an early release. And they, 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 they've just signed Dejon Assey as well. I know they lost Ash Taylor. I think Dejon Assey was his little replacement for the rest of the season. But, you know, I think the way Assey's playing, I think he'll uh, stay in that team for a while and potentially in the halves, you know, if he keeps that same form up. So, um, yeah, look, I, I think it's a good signing by um, the Rabbitohs in general. I think this is... Uh, a pickup that I believe is very smart by South. So, I mean, they've got a couple of good uh, utility players like Havili, who has been touted to play that role for a while. Um, Mamuzelos was talked about being that Jersey 14 as well, but I think the better option out of all of them is probably Nicarima since he can play more positions. And I guess that as well, that he is always been a better Jersey 14 than any, playing any, any other position from what I have, have seen from Nicarima. So, look, um, it is a bit of an interesting one. Um, but, you know, it makes sense in the end. I think it's a good pick-up by Souths. And, you know, it was funny because I think Nick Arima was, was going to join the Dolphins at one point. I think I was talking he was going to go to the Dolphins because of uh, Bennett, who sort of kicked off his career. But um, not happening. So, um, yeah, look, I think, um, I think you know, Nick Arima, how old is he now? He's 28 years old. So he's got another four or five years left in the NRL. So he's got plenty of time. So I am looking forward to seeing how Nick Arima goes in the next couple of years. He's at Seattle. So I don't know the length of the deal he signed with Rabbitohs. I, I think it's a two-year deal. Uh, have to wait for official, um, I guess, uh, confirmation and what the details behind his contract is at South Sydney are. But um, yeah, he is signed there for a couple of years and it's a good signing by Seattle. So I think Seattle's fans should be happy with the pickup. As for Warriors, um, I don't think they'll be too disturbed, to be honest, uh, with him leaving, from what I understand as well. Uh, some fans are not, not too big on him, but some are. So, in general, good play, Nick Arima. Should go well there. But um, anyway, thanks for watching the video. If you, have, if you enjoyed it, uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And, and if you haven't already, make sure to su su subscribe to the channel because currently at 1,000... 1,860 subscribers. Yes, that's the one. 1,860 subscribers. Looking to get to that 1,870 mark by very soon. You know, I, hit, I smashed the 1,850 goal yesterday. So I'm looking to really get closer to the 2K. So like I said, if you haven't already, if you're new watching the channel right now, I would hope you can subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot to me and the ch channel in general. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.